Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So CoverGirl recently launched some fun products. They launched the um, Simply Ageless Concealer, a Simply Ageless Mascara, and the Simply Ageless Hyaluronic Acid Lipstick line. So that's what we're gonna be trying out today. I have most of the colors here. I figured I would do arm and lip swatches so you could see what the shades look like on my skin tone in case you are similar to my skin tone. I feel like I am like fair, light, neutral undertones, but lately I'm seeing more and more pink. So maybe I am going towards the warmer side as I age, but if you guys think this will be helpful, go ahead and keep watching. I will make sure to list the shade names and the numbers below as I go along. So hope you guys find this helpful. Let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing I want to tell you is this is what the packaging looks like. It is purple. The bottom is like a metallic purple and the top is just like a plastic purple and it has a see-through top. So you can see what the color looks like before you even open it. And once you open it, lipstick looks like this. You can kind of see like the high, I was, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the hyaluronic acid is the interior part and then the lipstick is the exterior part, which I think is really, really fun. So they all look like this and they all have the see-through, see-through caps. You can see my background back here. So you can see what is inside. So I have them in numeric order. So we'll start with the lowest number. This one is 110 Special Espresso. And like I mentioned, I will do arm and lip swatches. I don't know how this is an espresso. This isn't a brown at all. It's like a deep, warm rose tone. Here is Special Espresso 110. They feel very comfortable. I would say they're more of like a satin finish. They're not matte, they're not glossy. And no distinct taste or fragrance, which is good. Yeah, no fragrance. Next up, we have 130 Darling Mocha. Here is Darling Mocha, which is just a much lighter shade. Interesting, the ones with the coffee names, I would just call like rose tones. Like this does not look like a coffee mocha anything to me. But here is 130 Darling Mocha. Next up, we have 150 Elegant Nude. And I like that the lid has the color as well, so you know which lid goes with which tube. So again, here is Elegant Nude. This one would be a perfect, like, your lips but better shade for me. This is pretty much my lip color just enhanced a bit. So again, here is 150 Elegant Nude. Probably my favorite so far. Here. Now we're moving into the pinky tones, as you can see here. This next one is 210 Caring Blush. Ooh, and this one is a shimmer. This one's like a 90s lipstick. Oh my goodness, I had one just like this. Can you guys see the sheen on that? Oh boy. So I'm not sure if the 90s are coming back and these like frosted Barbie pink lipsticks are coming back or not, but um, I don't think it's for me, but here is 210 Caring Blush. And I just have to say that I've already taken off four lipsticks, well, five if you include the one I had on earlier today, and my lips still feel very, very soft and conditioned, which is really nice. They're not feeling dry or sore or anything. So that's definitely a testament to the ingredients in the lipsticks. Moving on, we have 230 Amazing Petal, another pink. Now let's see if this one has shimmer in it. It does, and this one is not quite pink. This one I would almost call like a lavender-y shade. Here we go. You can see it's a bit more purple in tone than the previous one. So again, this is 230 Amazing Petal. Amazing Petal. Lavender Metallic Lipstick. Okay. Next, we have 250 Gracious Pink. And this one, I don't believe is matte. I mean, metallic. 
Yeah, I think that's like an opaque, non-shimmery one. Hmm. I think I like this one. Again, this is 250 Gracious Pink. Moving on to, I believe, the last of the pinks. This one is Loving Rose 270. And this one looks like it might have a bit of metallic to it. We will find out. It's a pretty shade. I don't see any glitter like I did with these two light ones. This one's erring more on the side of like magenta pink versus like a blue tone pink, which this one was. So here is Loving Rose 270. Moving on to some coral shades. This one is 290 Brilliant Coral. It's like a peachy shade, which don't usually look great on me. So again, 290 Brilliant Coral. I might be able to get away with this one. It's not too peachy coral. It's like borderline. Like I can handle it, but I'm not sure I'm going to reach for it every day. Moving on to reds. This next one is 310 Devoted Red. Ooh, look at that one. The contrast is really pretty. And this one looks like a cool tone red. We'll find out when we put it on the lips. Yeah, I think this is like a cool tone, almost pinky toned lipstick. So again, this one is Devoted Red. Three left. Next up, we have Brave Burgundy. Ooh, this is getting deep. That's pretty, it's like a, bl a brick red more than a burgundy, I would say. Ignore the messy lip line, but here is Brave Burgundy. This is like my shade for the fall, definitely. Two left. Next up, we have 350 Honest Berry. Berries are also not my shades, but they look beautiful on some people. Honest Berry. And finally, it looks like we have some sort of mauve shade. This one is 370 Precious Mauve. I've already used this one. It's a nice, cool tone shade. So here is the last one, 370 Precious Mauve. Now I do like this one, but I like it with like cool tone looks. Right now I have got like a warm eye look a warm burgundy shirt on apricot blush so this doesn't quite go with the whole vibe but I do like this shade okay so let me talk about things that I like about this range I like that they have like nudes peaches pinks and berries and reds it's like a good collection of everything I wish that there were some slightly more nude shades like just more like tannish warm tan shades there was I mean these two but I still consider these to be like rose shades we've got like our pinky shades our corals our reds and our berries I feel like they needed a little bit more in this range what they may have I only have an assortment I don't think I have every single one and I tried I got a lot but I didn't get all of them um so there may be more I don't know who these shimmery ones would appeal to I do kind of feel like they're bringing the 90s back with these two if you love these lipsticks go for it it's just not my particular style same with like the bright reds and the bright purples these just really are not my shades i can get away with maybe like a pink or these those are really the only ones i will ever use and keep in my collection but i have friends that love berry lipsticks my mother loves a berry lipstick i have friends that love peaches so i will be passing these along to other people i like the opacity of the lipsticks i like that they do not have a, fragr a fragrance or a taste to them i really like this packaging with the little see-through cap and the colored sticker on the bottom and on the lid so you know which goes with which and what shade range you're working with so you know if you're picking up a red or a mauve they're right there 
on the label and on the bottom. So I think that's really smart packaging. I mean, I know purple is like one of their signature colors, so it's fine that they're purple. I don't feel any particular way about purple packaging, but I love the see-through cap and the color coordinated labels on the top and the bottom. Very, very smart. I also like that it's got like the little, little divot inside of the like skincare items, lip care items, and then the color on the outside. I just think it's really fun to kind of put on. Of course, they get smeared together once you put them on the lips the first time, but that's all right. So all in all, I think this is a nice collection from CoverGirl. The lips are nice and smoothing. I mean, guys, I've tried on, I've tried on 12 lipsticks and my lips are still smooth and kind of juicy looking, which says a lot for the hyaluronic acid in this product. So I'm quite impressed with the formula. The colors are nice. All in all, I would say that this was a thumbs up for me. Good job, CoverGirl. Keep knocking out products that are awesome for people of all ages and all skin types. I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video and found it helpful. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.